Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing another love reading for the Zodiac sign of Aquarius. So if you have Aquarius anywhere, your moon, sun, Venus, rising, anywhere in your birth chart, this video may resonate with you. So don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. I would really appreciate it so much. Okay, so today is April 15th and the prayer says, As I learn to fully rely on you, God, I pray that you constantly remind me of your unfailing love. I praise you for your faithfulness and acknowledge my need for your grace and forgiveness. Jesus name, amen. Let's let to see. Prayer guys of Love and Light and Sisters to the Masters. What's going on for the Zodiac sign of Aquarius? And love. Wow, this card just popped out. The star card, Aquarius Energy. So Aquarius, you're doing your thing right now, okay? You're healing or you already heal from a situation and you just feel so free, okay? You're feeling more positive, okay? You feel optimistic about the future, okay? You're not letting anybody or anything get in your way, okay? And that's on period. <laughs> okay. Let's see, it's the judgment. So we have two major arcanas coming out. So we have judgment. You could be connected to Scorpio or another Chris like yourself. But what I'm seeing here, it's like since you made a decision here to leave somebody behind that wasn't serving you anymore, okay? It's like you've been having so many opportunities coming. A lot of beautiful opportunities. Just because you put in the work and you healed yourself. Yeah. We have the five wands. So yeah, I'm seeing here that it's somebody here that's in shambles. Okay, this person is sad. Okay, their life is not going good. As you can see, it's a lot of drama and gossip going on. A lot of competition going on where they're at. But I'm seeing this person cause a lot of um, drama in your life as well. Okay, and this could have made you very sad. Okay, you could have felt um, like you was the one that was in the wrong. But the whole time this person was the one that was in the wrong. Okay, now this person is in deep regret because they caused so much you know, confusion in your life, okay? They was bringing emotional baggage from their other relationships into your relationship here, okay? And it's like you moved away from this person. This is Aquarius energy. You moved away from this person. You, you could have been connected to a water sign here or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, but you moved away from this person, okay? You just moved to common waters. You didn't even want to even fight for this person. I'm seeing this person could have had people that always fight for them. That was in competition. It was like, I'm not going to be doing that, okay? And now this person is realizing, like, your energy. You have this beautiful energy about you. They can't get there nowhere else, okay? you one of one, okay? And it's like, since you have been not around this person, this person has been missing your energy. It's like, you have some type of hidden energy about yourself that this person couldn't get anywhere else. Okay? Yeah, and I'm seeing here, you could be spiritual with the high priestess here. Or you could um, be receiving a lot of signs about this person. This person could be receiving a lot of signs about you. Okay? And we have the page of wands here. So I'm saying this person wants to communicate with you. Okay, you can have your own like YouTube channel. You could be doing things here that's like as far as spirituality here. And it's like you always come up with new ideas and new ways to like convey a message here. And a lot of people look up to you. Okay, and I'm seeing here with the Page of Wands and the Eight of Wands here. It's like um, this person didn't know how to communicate in the past. Now they're trying to communicate with you. So since you're doing extremely good for yourself now, it's like this person wants to communicate with you now. This person could have had some type of dream about you, okay? And they could have really wanted you, like, sexually here. But, yeah, I'm seeing here um, that you have been following your intuition, okay? And this has led you to do beautiful things in your life. It's like the universe is guiding you and you're following their signs that they're showing you, you know? And I'm seeing now this person that wants to communicate with you. They probably pop up where you stay or where you work if they know. But this person really misses you, okay? Yeah, this King of Wands here. This person could have been, like, well-known in the community. You know, could have really cared about their business here. Could have been very attractive here. Could have had a lot of people, you know, find this person very attractive here. Okay? But I'm seeing here this person is trying to make up some type of plan here. Okay? It's like, I just started strategic. So, it's like they're trying to be strategic here on how to come in towards you. Because, you know, when the King of Wands take action on something, it's like they they, they go for it. They're full force. They're, they have a lot of fight, a lot, a lot of drive. Okay? They're very confident. Right? So, I'm seeing this person it feels like they're they can get you back some way somehow it's like they're going to try to say something to you try to you know make it all saucy and stuff and they're going to try to come back in your life this person don't want you to not be in their life here it's like yeah they're going to be heartbroken okay this person could be very pissed because i'm saying this person could be pissed at you because of the fact that you pulled the way your energy from them and now you're healing you're looking good and it's like this person don't like when you get a lot of attention or something like that and it's just like they just be like that's my person. Very possessive energy. Mm -hmm. 
But I'm seeing that this person, okay, broke your heart. And it's like you went towards a new path to the beginning. Okay, and I see you start focusing more on your craft and your yourself than trying to get in another relationship. Okay, but I'm seeing here, yeah, it could have been like a very sexual connection that you guys have with each other. Okay, and I'm seeing this person could have had like grief and heartbreak and trauma here that you knew nothing about from their past. And it's like this person just either had intentions to come in towards you and have sex with you and that's all it be. Because I'm seeing here this person had somebody already that's why you moved away from this person because there was a lot of drama going on okay people could somebody could have text you and try to argue with you for some of you guys okay but i'm seeing here we have the eight of pentacles here so i'm saying yeah you start focusing on yourself your business you could be self-employed here okay but you're an extremely hard worker and i'm seeing now this person wants to come back they want to have a new passionate i say passionate because i see the ace of wands here so make sure it's just not all of that because it's like this person remembers that right um but i'm seeing here it's like with the four of wands here it's like this person want to come back to, for a new passion the beginning they want to fix what was broken okay they know that they have to put in some work here because you did nothing wrong to this person okay they could have either tried to make it seem like you was in the wrong but you really did nothing wrong and i'm seeing with the four of wands here this person wants to be with you they want to get a house with you some of you guys you probably move in with this person okay i'm seeing here somebody's going on vacation in um greece Type that very specific, but I'm seeing the page of cups here. Yeah, this person wants to have wants you to have their child as well. I'm seeing here, okay. But they want to be more emotional towards your you know offers here. I'm seeing here, yeah, but they also have a fear of rejection. Okay, this person feels like they was very immature in the past with when it came to their emotions and expressing themselves. It's like now they feel like you're not gonna want anything to do with them anymore. Like seriously, they feel like this is a missed opportunity with you. But they're going to try. I'm telling you right now, this person's going to try. Yeah, see? They're going to try. They're going to have the strength to keep trying to come in with their offer here. Okay? Yeah. Seven of Pentacles here. And you're going to be like, mm, I don't know if I should do this. Like, yeah, I'm seeing some of you guys are going to go towards a new love. Ace of Cups. Okay? They're going to go towards a new person. Okay? But I'm seeing here, it's like you're going to be like prolonging the situation and this person gonna just like either start crying or being very emotional okay to try to win you back like i'm so sorry you like just start to do the most for you and you're like what is this person doing now you want to express your love yeah but i'm seeing here look you guys gonna have a new person that's gonna come in towards you this person gonna be good that's all i gotta say okay they're gonna be good to you okay they're gonna step up to the mother plate okay and they're going to equally give to you they're going to be generous okay they're going to support you and you just being yourself not trying to be anybody else okay this person's going to be very mature i'm seeing very mature status here with the emperor okay and that's my period yeah because i'm saying this person that she was dealing with this like this person could have had like a situation going on they could have been Paying bills elsewhere, just a player energy. The King of Wands is a player energy, okay? And it's like they really didn't even really support you and your dreams and stuff like that, even though you're independent. But it's like, Jesus, like, you know, you probably didn't ask for it because you were so independent. But I'm seeing here, it's like this person is going to come in, they're going to be very generous, they're going to be very financially stable here, okay? They're going to be very loyal, faithful, committed towards you, okay? They're going to put you up on things that you either didn't know about. Because I'm seeing this person could have their own business as well, they could be a boss. Very older than you, okay? I'm seeing very masculine, very buff. But with the Ten of Wands here, I'm seeing this person is going to be extremely pissed off. They're going to be upset when they see this. They really gonna be mad at you then because they're gonna be like, this person just feels like you're theirs. Like, how dare you? You know? You like, oh well, yeah. You're gonna have to manifest something new for yourself. This person's gonna try to do everything that they can to get you back. This person probably do a spell on you to try to get you back towards them. But I'm saying the two of swords here. This person, they had their chance, you know? And look, it's like Nine of Swords in reverse. I'm seeing that this is you. You could have been in that energy where you felt very stressed out. Okay, you felt guilty if you was to leave this person. This person could have tried to be emotionally abusive, you know? And it was like he was always up late at night thinking like, what is this person doing? Is they're going out? Is they cheating? Is they, you know, not making a decision on you, right? And it's like, now you're out of that energy. Okay, you feel free. And whatever that's coming in towards you, this person's going to feel just like this, a wounded warrior. They're going to be very like who she thinks she is or why did she leave me like what <laughs>
Yeah, you cut this person off. Queen of Swords energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. You cut this person off, okay? And you willing to do that to anybody else to try to come in on some BS because you're very wise. You you know when somebody not you know you just know, okay? So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What does this person want to say to the Aquarius? Or you could be a um, Aquarius that did this. What does this person want to say? Spirit guys of a knight and justice and masters. So we have here, I think of you often and I can still feel you. Okay. Of course this person can still feel you. Don't you know what I'm waiting for? <laughs> Um, we have, I'm not sure I deserve the way you love me. So this person is not very, like they are so used to being in this type of program here where they think and see that toxic is good and it's something that should be like put on a pedestal and it's not, you know. It's like a lot of people is programmed to think that that is how love is and that's how love should go because that's either what they seen growing up or they just, you know, wanted to have control over the other person, you know. So it's like... It's not that way, you know? And you love so different from what this person is used to. And it's like, they, you know, they're not used to it, okay? I wasn't ready for anything like this. Yeah, this person's not used to nothing like this, you know? We have, see here, we have, this is the real thing I know. So this person knows that you're different. They're not going to find you anywhere else. They know that that connection that you guys have was very special. You know, I have to focus on my um, finances and stability right now. Okay. So do we, you know, very understandable. I have deep and unresolved wounds. You can't fix them. I must do it. I'm just not sure exactly how. So this person don't know how to heal. It's like, you know how to heal. But it's like this person don't know how to go about it, you know. And you, this person is basically saying you can't fix them, you know. Of course, everybody's in charge of their own healing. Because you wasn't, you know, you don't know how this person lived their life before you, you know. So it's like this thing that you don't have no control over that you didn't do to this person, you know. That this person has to heal. I still want you. I'm fighting for my feelings. So I'm, yeah, this person, of course, this person still wants you. But it's like... You are in a situation or who else wants you, you know? You're not going to fight over no person. It's like, it's either, you know, like, we're not kids. We have, I'm aware I sabotage our connection. This was old patterns and offenses. So this person was used to this, doing this to everybody else that they ever came together with, you know? As far as being intimate. So it's like, they are rare that they do this. Like, they do this, you know? They does this. They break hearts, you know? And they just keep going about their life like nothing happened, you know? So it was like you didn't want to be in this. I'm saying you could have been in it, but it's like you didn't want to. It was too much. It's like you was trying to break your old patterns and defenses, you know? Who wants to be more open when it came to your feelings instead of trying to fight them, you know? And it was like you was willing for change instead of being the same person that you are and being stuck in your ways. This person, they're stuck in their ways. And I'm saying they're not going to get unstuck, you know? So it's like... You guys are like different, like are on two different paths right now. Like your mentality is different from each other, you know. So I hope this video gave you guys all clarity. If it did, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.